of the many songs set in Scotland, one of the most well-known worldwide is the song The Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. There are several versions of the song, but most begin the, with the words, By yon bonnie banks, and by yon bonnie braes, where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond. Probably the most familiar part is the chorus, which goes... Is this just a lovely tune, often featured in movies and television shows about Scotland, or is there a deeper meaning behind it? For the chorus says, Me and my true love will never meet again on the bonnie bonnie banks of Loch Lomond. The most common second verse speaks of a couple parting in yon shady glen on the steep, steep side of Ben Lomond, the local mountain seen in the distance. A common third verse is even more sad, saying that the wee birdies sing and the wildflowers spring and in sunshine the waters are sleeping. But the broken heart it kens no second spring again, though the wayful may cease in their grieving. Not only are there various versions of the song, but there are also various stories as to what the song is about. But the majority of those stories are a variation of the same general theme, that of a Jacobite soldier captured and about to be put to death. Very briefly, the Jacobites were those who fought for the restoration of King James VII of Scotland, or if you're English, King James II. And later, they fought for his son, James Francis Edward, who did, they declared to be King James VIII. The two most famous periods of armed rebellion by the Jacobite forces was during 1715 and 1745, the later being the time of Bonnie Prince Charles and Culloden, all of which is a subject for another time. The song is probably intended to be the words of a captured Jacobite, to either an ally who escaped, or his lady love. The captured soldier was most likely held in England, and about to be put to death, and so spoke of taking the low road, that of death, saying that his spirit would get to Scotland before the other person, who still being alive would need to take the high road, the road of the living. Though not relating to the song, there is another story of death relating to Loch Lomond that I wanted to briefly share. In the churchyard at Luss, a lovely village on the banks of Loch Lomond, there is a unique gravestone. It is thought to be a Viking hogback stone dating to around the 11th century. It is speculated that after one of the Viking raids in the area, a few of the Vikings stayed behind, and at least one of them was buried in the churchyard. Clearly, the Vikings also enjoyed those bonnie bonnie banks of Loch Lomond. <laughs> 